Today we're gonna be talking about the king of skincare. You guys know Hiram. He's not a stranger to skincare. He says it like it is. He is our king. He has taught everyone something about skincare. Even as a chemist, I'm always open-minded and I love to hear from people, whether or not they're professionals, dermatologists, or an esthetician or a chemist. I'm open-minded and Hiram is someone I feel like knows his shit. I feel like he actually puts in the work to be educated. We can agree to disagree on some things and you guys are gonna probably tell throughout the video what things I disagree on. But overall, I do like his approach to skincare, which is evident in how many people are subscribed to him and how many supporters he has. With that being said, I'm gonna jump right into this video. This is his video with Harper's Bazaar. Now the video is about 18 minutes long. I don't like long videos on my channel. I'm gonna pick and choose the things that I have more to say in his skincare routine. So yeah, let's jump right into the skincare routine. I am so excited to be able to show you my skincare routine because I am usually used to reacting to skincare routines. I'm not used to showing other people my skincare routine. I'm going to be using in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products with one skincare tool. So nine products all together. So first thing I do is I use a cleansing balm. I'm specifically using the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. I like this one because, because they're a great way of just dissolving the sunscreen and excess oil and dirt buildup that has accumulated throughout the day. Typically, I don't go for a lot of cleansing balms because they have an ingredient called polyethylene, which is plastic. Okay, I'm gonna stop him right there. This is one of the few things I don't agree with him. So polyethylene has definitely come up a lot. It's definitely in the lines of the whole vegan movement, clean beauty, which I'm just not a fan of, but that's a story for another day. So when it comes to polyethylene, in the broad sense of it, it is plastic, but however, this is cosmetic grade polyethylene. It comes in liquid form. It's been found to not go in the system and be an endocrine disruptor or uh, a hormone disruptor of any kind. It is perfectly safe to be used in cosmetics. Yes, in broad sense, it's plastic, but this is a cosmetic grade polyethylene that comes in liquid form and it's not harmful in any way. Honestly, when it comes to cleansing balms, I'm just like, I'm not too picky when it comes to cleansing balm. I used the one from Pharmacy Beauty and I really like that one. So yeah, I think just use whichever one works for your skin type. Just get, make sure you get one that's really moisturizing and it's not gonna strip your skin. So after that step, I make sure my skin is completely dry before I go in with the next one. And that's important because the next product I use is from Verst. It's the Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. Retinol is one of my favorite ingredients for just repairing so much damage within the skin. It's so well researched. There's so many benefits to it. And I think it's a must, especially considering like how much sun exposure I get here and just the stressors. and the fact that I do age so quickly, retinol is a must step in my skincare routine. Okay, so yeah, like he said, retinol is an important step to skincare routine. Retinol is great for hyperpigmentation, for people that have dark spots. It's also great for cell regeneration. It literally helps like your cells turn over to reveal new cells that are in your skin. And yeah, retinol is amazing. I use Retin-A. Mine was prescribed actually for my doctor. It's just done wondrous for my skin. So I highly, highly recommend everyone to put a retinol in their routine especially at nighttime. Retinol is very sensitive to light, so it's important that you use retinol at night and not in the daytime. This one is a must in my skincare routine, the Great Barrier Relief from Crave Beauty. When I first found this product, didn't, it was, I was in such a dark place. I don't know where I was before this. This like saved my skin, <laughs> which sounds dramatic, but hello. What it focuses on is helping to repair the skin's moisture barrier. And I think what we don't realize is that we tend to just pummel our skin with so many treatments, at least I do. So that sometimes I forget that, you know, the health of the skin is just as important as seeing results. And those two things are not interchangeable. Okay, so I like the idea of like, you know, replenishing your skin, getting back your skin barrier, moisturizing your skin but I don't think that you need to get a different product so this product from Curve Beauty it might be a great product like he says but I don't think it's something that you must have in your skincare routine I think that you can achieve the same thing with your moisturizer your uh, serum I just think it's a luxury in this case I don't think it's something that's necessary but I mean if you need that much moisturization then by all means go for it but I don't think that's it's necessary. I have been absolutely loving the Rovectin Clean Water Cream. It comes with little stickers that you can put out the bottle, so I customize my own. It's cute. 
This one I love because it's formulated with a crazy high concentration of lotus, which is great for, you know, reducing sensitivity and irritation in the face and also for, you know, potentially being anti-aging and antioxidant properties. But I specifically love this one because it's a very lightweight water cream. So it absorbs into the skin so quickly and does not feel heavy. I've actually been really liking using this hmm. one during the day. I think we're opposite when it comes to this. So it looks like he's using water cream. So it has more water than oil in it. So it's very lightweight. I prefer to use my heavy creams at night and prefer to use the lighter creams in the morning. That's just my preference. Like I said, I use Retin-A at night and if you know anything about Retin-A, it could be really, really drying. So you need a lot of moisture to an oil occlusive agent to just really seal in that moisture in your skin. And for me, nighttime is the best time to have that amount of like seal and protection to prevent, like he said, trans epidermal water loss. So I prefer a more heavier cream that has some oil in it at night to form that barrier and protect my skin barrier. And then in the morning, I like my water cream. What I also do with my moisturizers, I always make sure to pat it into my skin afterwards because I, I don't know why, maybe this is true, maybe it's not true, but I feel like my products absorb so much better once I pat it into my skin. Can I just say, I love how gentle he's been with his skin. He's so like gentle. Like I'm not aggressive, I used to be. Oh, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. We've changed, we have being born again but no i love how gentle he is it's just so so good to see that a lot of people just want to slap their skin oh that hurt <laughs> please don't slap your skin you wouldn't slap your liver your skin is an organ so treat your skin how you would treat a delicate organ and then for the final step, I go in with a skincare tool that I actually have not talked about on my channel before, so I'm so excited to provide an exclusive look into my skincare routine. It's actually a cooling globe, and it would be cooling globes, plural, if I hadn't have broken the other one and leaked out everywhere and got onto my carpet and stained it. So love that. <laughs> I love using this both at nighttime or in the morning, specifically in the morning on the under eye area, because it really de-puffs the face. But overall, I just like it because typically with a lot of these like cooling tools that I've used in the past sometimes they create such a heavy layer of like condensation on the outside that it almost feels like you're just kind of smothering water all over your face and it feels like it's almost breaking up the skincare formula but this one I never noticed that. Okay I've never heard about a cooling globe before this is probably one of those extra luxury items in skincare that I just haven't bothered to look into. His skincare routine looks like he has it down he looks like he knows exactly what his skin needs I mean, his skin is clear as a crystal ball. His skin is like skincare gold, so I would not feel right saying anything bad. Um, I did skip over a few of the steps because you guys already know he loves to double cleanse, so I didn't really feel the need to include his cleansing step. And yeah, I just wanted to speak on the things that I maybe didn't agree on or things that I felt like I wanted to provide more information on about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you like the video. Definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to hear more about skincare, see more skincare reactions, or brand that you guys like me to review next. Yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.